Hello everyone and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne Jupiter and again this time I'm going to go as a regular old plant I think. He's just a, a nice little dude, does some good stuff. We've got the slugger to start with but no, let's go disc gun. It's more, it's more chaotic, it's more crazy. Let's just give it a damn good go. I do like disc gun off the bat to be honest. It's pretty good. Um, but anyways, let's jump in with our crown of inversion as we regularly do. We kind of have like the early game pretty well mapped out at this point. We kind of know exactly where we're going to go and why, which I think is a good thing to have. Okay, I'm going to end up destroying that, yep. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen, but we've got an inverted area, so I'm not that bothered. Don't kill myself with a disc gun and all shall be okay. I would like that, thank you. Okay, cool. Into the inverted area. A little bit bad on the, uh, the damage taken there. I'll also take an assault pistol here. As much as I'd be okay with killing myself, I don't want to yet. Rhino skin is probably a good one here. We do need to use our snare a little more often. I tend not to really use the snare all that much. I don't really know what damaged me there, I'll be honest. Can, can this sword? There you go. The sword just wouldn't quite fit through the gap the way I wanted it to. That's pretty good, to be fair. Being able to fire a saw at an enemy like that and then just absolutely destroy. Ooh, okay, this is going to be a little tricky here. Actually, no, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, I have, I have managed to surround myself by a numerous amount of saws, which isn't ideal, I've got to say. That's where you are. G -g Get out of here, you. Thank you, I got him, I got him. Right, Splinter, I am intrigued by Splinter on this, and then we'll uh, open this up as well and go on through. Okay, I'm gonna take Sharp Stress. Sharp Stress is one of those ones where it's a lot better than it used to be and I haven't really given it a full chance to shine yet. So I want to uh, I want to pay some attention to it and try and maybe, just maybe have a run where it's a pivotal point in our run. Because that would put me in a good mood for using it in the future. The same way that uh, Flexible Elbows has sort of done that recently. Okay, this is gonna be bad if I'm not careful. Okay, the mini missile is still there. I see the mini missile. That actually worked out just fine for us there. We got the dense gun, the disc gun and the dense gun. Same, same, but different. But yeah, basically, my thinking with Sharp Stress is, for one, it's just, like I said, better now. Basically, you keep the fire rate buff for three seconds after healing. But my, my thinking is, with saw gun, with the, uh, the blade, the disc gun, whatever you want to call it, we're going to be hitting ourselves more than we would typically hit ourselves. So, why not yield some rewards out of doing such a thing? Why not? Um, right. Last enemy's gotta be up here, right? I must have just passed them by. Or there isn't a last enemy and I'm just... Oh, no, no. They're down. It must be a maggot. Excuse me? Oh! There's like a, just a little hole down here with a bunch of fellas. Hello there. That's what I'm looking for. Bolt marrow, baby. Having some actual herming on this thing makes it way more usable. I'm hoping... Do you know, what? I, like, I know that obviously the logic of this game doesn't really go this way, and it would kind of probably be against the game's design ethos to do this, but it'd be kind of cool if, with this mod, if you were like, say for example, if I use my, my disc gun for a really long time, as in I stick with one gun for a long while, it would then try, I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but it would increase the spawn rate chances for like the upgraded versions of disc guns because there's like a bunch of different like higher tier disc guns in um, in this mod. It'd be really really cool if the game acknowledged when you stuck with one type of gun or like one specific gun for a while and then it would try to give you an upgraded version. I realize that does obviously take a little bit of the sort of look out of the game and but even still like, like I said it wouldn't be a guarantee it would just be an increased chance. I think that could be kind of fun. So far, I'm liking what we got going on here. Um, just counts as auto. I don't really know what to go for here. I'm gonna go with um, with power craving just to increase these and be able to uh, slap another one on. Wow, that explosive guy just absolutely destroyed me. I was not expecting that. I will be honest. Like I was expecting. A little bit of resistance. I was not expecting to be blown to kingdom come immediately. No, 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 no. Let me in here, please. Um, 
I guess scary a face because the the amount of damage over the like sort of our overage damage would be really good. Although that still says 16 right there, so maybe not. Although is that just because that's what that health is? I, I don't know. I thought scary a face would make this thing do a ton more damage. Seems to not be making it do any more damage visually. Oh, there you go. We got we got 20 out of 20 there. I'm not quite sure why it's always 16 and sometimes it's 20, but I guess whatever. Oh, no. I mean, obviously it's going to happen at some point. We've just got to accept that fact, but did it have to happen there and then? <sighs> I've got to dodge and duck and dive between all the saw blades. In we go. Okay. Let's take... Uh, yeah, let's take Sharp Stress again and just try it out. I want to give it the genuine... That was so dumb. I want to give it a genuine try. I am sticking with my Sawblade action, baby. I will not... I will not yield. Oh, I will not yield. <laughs> I will get this right, damn it. I will get this right. That was beautiful. Oh, and I hit myself. Dude, dude, that, that, that is that how much damage the Thor Blades do? Because I got hit pretty hard there. Oh, come on. Stop being so silly. I'm playing like a goose. I am playing with goosish tendencies. My goodness. Right. Let's lock in, baby. Let's lock in. We are in ultimate dodge mode right now. Ultimate dodge mode with nothing in the world will ever hit us ever again. I did unfortunately miss. Okay, I got hit by one of my discs anyways. I need some something that's going to protect me from the discs, and I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that would be, but I'm sure it exists. Maybe inner peace? Inner peace could be pretty good for us right now. That gives us a barrier, like a protective layer before we take damage. Maybe just having armor from, like, Nerves of Steel, is it called? That could be good. I would like to put Frost on this first, thank you. It went straight on through. Flexible Elbows, you know I love it. Ooh! Tough Shell might be really good, actually. Because it can no longer deal seven damage to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because now, um, it doesn't actually say the full description there, but I'm pretty sure it can't do over that amount of damage anymore, which is really, really nice. Um, again, I'll go with Sharp Stress. As I said, we're still hitting ourselves, so... Does Sharp Stress trigger on, like, inner peace and armor? I wonder. Or does it only trigger on health damage? It'd be a bit of a shame if it only triggered on health damage. But I'd also kind of understand it. Inverted Big Bandit. He is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I demolished him heavily. See, that's where Sharp Stress is absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're through, we're through, we're through. Ah, oh, really? Where did it spawn this portal? Get back over here. Um, I don't really know here. I guess Poisonium Hunger is just going to be good for us here. How did I not hit that assassin? Ah, you spawned yourself directly on top of that, you fool. Right, fire. There's multiple fires going on here. I wasn't ready. Dude! I was just trying to blow up the car. Why am I so stupid? I thought Tough Shell would be better than that. Maybe I misread it. I thought any damage above 2 would be lowered to 2 or something like that. Or is it any damage above 8 now? I don't remember how it works. It, I think I'm thinking of the wrong item or thinking of the wrong description. I think my brain isn't correct. Is what I'm thinking. Right, through we go. How did I not get a level up there? Not getting a level up on stage 1 is just the worst. <laughs> Oh, 
God damn. Right. Dude, this fish! Oh my god! <laughs> I had so many discs and that fish just wouldn't... Dude. I forgot about these goddamn jellyfish things. I need to stop coming to this area. Yeah, I'm never going to the to the seaside area ever again. Those goddamn jellyfish are ridiculous. Dude, I'm so bad with this thing. I'm so persist- like, I I'm too stubborn to change my mind though now. I wish the discs were thicker. Through we go. Didn't get level up again. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going through you, honestly. Take that. Give us the inversion magnet for basically guaranteed inverted chance now. I would think. Good. Good. I want more homing on this thing. Maybe um, the homing from eagle eyes would be really good. I'm not entirely sure, but I'd like to find out. Okay, dippity dodge, grab that. Oh my god, the discs. The discs, baby. How are you not dead? I mean, doing damage to him apparently opened up the door anyways. Um... What did we get for our first mutation? I don't remember. Oh, no, we've got two level ups here, I see. Um, that could be really good with this. And then, yeah, let's try Eagle Eyes and see how that goes. Let's take an absolutely gigantic and ridiculous gamble here, shall we? A gamble that there is just no need to take. Oh, dude, that, that aiming assist is fairly strong. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Dude, that one of those discs made it all the way. All the way down here. That's that's kind of mad. We'll see how this goes. It might be terrible. It might be good. I am unsure. The crown glutton has spawned already. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be the case because we are in a very enclosed space right now. But I'm basically my temptation here is spam the ever living shit out of this and see if it works. It did. Right now, Operation Live. Cool. Grab Kraken on that bad boy. Okay. Some more enemies down here. I've managed to get hit by something there. I'm not entirely sure what. Okay, this is more enemies than I was expecting by quite a number. Really? Now you spawn the boss? Oh, you spawn him in such a bad spot as well. Fuck you. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. Yep. Yeah. They spawned the boss in such a terrible location. That's just not fair. <laughs> but I'm going to try that again. <laughs> okay, so Eagle Eyes is like a hard requirement here. Um, honestly, if we can get Eagle Eyes and uh, actual Bolt Marrow homing, I think that would make a massive, massive difference in how accurate we are and how little we hit ourselves. So let's just kind of try to make that happen, shall we? Dude, that shut like right as I went to get in it. How dare you? I'd like to be able to pick my uh, my modifiers here, but oh, dude, the maggots, the maggots are extreme. There you, go. you can kill them all in one go if you if you like stick them down first. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a nightmare. There's a maggot just stuck there, look. Oh my god, dude. This little dude, die. There you go.
Okay. Do that, and then boom, bow. Is that us good? We good? Nope, we're not good. Nope, we're not even close to good yet. Okay. Good amount of rads. Now we're good. Okay. Anything here take our fancy? Not really. I'm gonna go with Hammerhead. I don't really take Hammerhead very often. And then Bloodlust, maybe? I'm trying it again. It's 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 a it's a ridiculous gamble, I realize. Especially when we don't have Eagle Eyes this time, it's more of a gamble. But I don't know, I'm a risk taker. I like it. It's fun. Being a risky bisky. It's a fun time. Oh, calm down, disc. Calm down. Oh my god. It's okay. And I've got hammerheads so I can clear walls if need be, but I very rarely do. I just use it for the extra resources at the end of the stage. Nail machine gun sounds pretty risky. That's it for there. And... Didn't really get much that's gonna help us here. That doesn't work for bosses, does it? That would be kind of insane. I'm gonna go with Rhino Skin, I think. I think it's just the, the simple answer. The, the no hassle answer. Oh, I did like the that, that little bit of that there. There he is. I see you, big boy. Right, where are you, where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay. We killed all of them, just the inverted guy left. Oh my god. Dude, die! There you go. That took a lot of doing, goddamn. This is going to be pretty tricky too, I reckon. Just trying to dodge everything that's happening, along with the discs, along with the crown glutton. Probably going to be pretty hard. I would, I would, uh, yeah, probably say it's going to be pretty hard. It's apparently going to be hard to have ammo as well. We've got to take whatever's in here. It's a wrench. The wrench isn't going to do much for us. I think we're screwed, guys. I think we're screwed. Yep. I just want it to work. Disc gun. Why you betray me? I just want to get a run where I get the mutations I actually want. Because Bolt Marrow has come up once so far. The entire time we've been doing this, it has come up once. I feel that's not great. Right. Go into the area where I get to choose. Let me go there, please. Don't take this away from me. Let me get all my rads, please. Thank you, thank you. We've got an inverted area here. We don't want that. We want that. I'm going to quickly go over and grab that. I don't know how easy you're going to be to kill, to be honest. It depends if you stand still or not. Oh, I hit myself there. That was very silly. Okay, we're good. We're through with not much ammo. I guess at this point we take that as a just in case. Um, might try that out. There's the ammo that we were looking for, and it didn't even give us the ammo for our gun. Have a feeling we're dead again. Yeah, dude, this is so tough. I love the disc gun, but goddamn, just give me Bolt Marrow or Eagle Eyes on my first level up just even once. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. It just won't give me it. 
And I need like one of them to just have a chance. Otherwise, the just safety of it's just completely, dude. That should. God damn it! Yeah, I don't. If if the thing shuts on me, I don't care. Just kill me anyways. I kind of need to be able to choose my mutations here. Otherwise, this isn't gonna work. Still no level up there. I guess I could use another gun and then whip out this later when I've got everything set up. But you know that's not what I'm about. You know I'm not going to do that. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <sighs> I'm having such a hard time here. This is probably so painful to watch. Like, look at that. I just, why? I just, just stood there and took that. What? God damn, did that again. I just kind of stood there and took that one, like, right to the face, for seemingly no reason. I just didn't get out the way, and I don't know why. Ah, my aim is also very bad. Dude, stop closing your mouth. Just don't have a time limit, please. It's fucking... Oh, it makes me so sad. Um, right. Yet again, didn't get anything that we wanted here. Um, Euphoria, I guess. We'll try that out. God damn it. Oh, that was good. Killed a maggot there. Can't go to the... Uh, can't, can't go to the, the, the under the water portion of the game because it's balked right now. I'm, I'm like pretty good at dodging shots. I'm doing a, a reasonably good job of that, I think. It's just everything else, dodging my discs. Dude, 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 dude. Get out of here with your bullshit. Oh my god. Okay, I'm leaving it there. I clearly am not in the right headspace to be playing this game right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Absolutely. Just, I don't even know what to call that. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.